Welcome back everybody to VTS Options. So in this video, I'm going to break down the mechanics of one of the four possible variations of what we call vertical spreads. There's both call and put verticals, and both can be traded either long or short, so that's why there's four variations here. So subscribe to the channel, hit that like button for me, and remember I do have a free newsletter on my website, so you can sign up for that, and you will get regular options and volatility content sent right to you. But with that, let's get into the long call vertical. So the long call vertical is made up of both a long call option and then a short call option further out of the money. It's done at once in a single transaction, so it's very easy to open. But doing this does cap the losses and it makes it a safer, higher probability trade than just buying long call options outright. Now there is a time and a place for both and I do trade long call options on occasion. But in general, I do find the long call vertical to have a better risk reward profile. I'll go through a trade example shortly, but first here is the risk profile of the long call vertical. It's always best to explain through examples, so here's a hypothetical trade. We have stock XYZ trading at $50, and we're going to buy a 50-60 call vertical for $5. Now that would be a long $50 call option, and then a short $60 further out of the money call option. Again, it's done in a single transaction, but doing this makes it a vertical spread and the max gain and max loss are now capped. So starting with the loss side of things, that is limited to the premium paid to open the trade. You can't ever lose more than that. In this case, we pay $5 to open this trade. So $5 multiplied by the options factor of 100, the max loss is $500. And for the same reason, the max gain is limited as well. To calculate the maximum gain, it's just the difference in the strike prices minus the premium paid. So there's a $10 gap in these strikes, and we paid $5 for the contract. So again, the max gain is $500 for this trade. No matter what happens to the underlying, the maximum gain and maximum loss is known ahead of time. So from a risk reward perspective, it's pretty easy to quantify. Now that pink line is the daily profit curve and it is important as well, but for that I'll go through an actual example in my trading software shortly. But first, the option Greeks are statistical values that provide us a way to measure the sensitivity of an option's value with respect to other factors. Delta is an option sensitivity to price. Long call verticals are delta positive, meaning they do profit from increases in the price of the underlying. It's a bullish trade. We want the price to go up, so it's delta positive. Theta is an option sensitivity to time. These are theta negative trades, meaning time will eat away at the value of the contract. And lastly, vega is an option sensitivity to volatility. Long call verticals are vega positive. They gain value with increases in volatility and lose value with decreases in volatility. So this does mean they are best opened when volatility is on the low end as the starting point, giving a little room for it to go up and benefit the trade. Okay, so here we are with the very familiar Thinkorswim platform from TD Ameritrade. And I'm going to be going over an example for a long call vertical on the S&P 500. So this is the SPY, this is the S&P 500 ETF. And as you can see, it's pretty much killing it the last three or four months. We are at all-time highs, and there doesn't seem to be anything slowing this market down. Just to timestamp this, it's January 10th, 2020, which means the recent political events we've seen with Iran are very fresh here. That was just a few days ago. We also had President Trump being impeached recently. And then, of course, we can throw in all the Fed shenanigans with the stress in the repo market. So there's definitely things that could have derailed this rally, but it just keeps going higher. Today we have the non-farm payroll report. Futures are up already, so I suspect a little bit of that has been leaked. But the bottom line is markets are trending higher. So for my example, I'm just going to show you a trade that would take advantage of a continuation to this very strong pattern that we're seeing. A long call vertical on the S&P 500. So I'm going to use the SPY ETF. I'm going to go over to the Analyze tab. And these are all the monthly expirations we can choose from. So for this trade, I'm just going to go to this February contract, which has 43 days to expiration. Give this trade a little time to develop. Now, just like with the example before, I'm going to be buying a long call vertical just outside the money. So in thinkorswim, calls are on the left, puts are on the right. We'll be focusing over on the left side of the screen here. Now it's pre-market hours, but you can see the SPY is already looking like it'll be up a little bit. So if I just go choose the one strike out of the money, that's going to be this 328. So I'm going to buy to open a vertical. And this is what that trade looks like. Now with the SPY, I like to give a little bit of a strike gap here. 
So the long 328 call, that's just fine. But for the short, further out of the money call that all vertical spreads include automatically, I'm just gonna put that $5 difference. So I'm gonna go to 333. $5 strike gap. And now here's that familiar shape for the long call vertical. Current price is right about here, and we've got the break-even price at expiration right here. Now to calculate that, it's very easy. It's just the strike, in this case 328, and then you just add the premium. So 328 plus 249, the break-even price at expiration is gonna be 330.49, right there. Now because we're paying a debit to open the trade, the break-even is always going to be above the current price. It has to move in our desired direction to make our profit. But let me break down a few keys to this trade. So first we'll look at this max loss. For long call verticals, the max loss is always capped at the premium paid. So we pay 249 for the contract. We multiply that by 100 because each one contract represents 100 shares of the underlying. And we see that the maximum loss is $249. No matter what happens to the downside, the trader can't lose more than that. And for the same reason, the maximum gain is capped as well. To calculate the maximum gain, we just take the difference in the strike, which in this case is $5, and then we subtract the $2.49 debit that we paid. That'll be $2.51, and then again we multiply by 100 for the options factor. So the maximum gain in this case is $251. No matter what happens in the market, we already know ahead of time what our max loss and max gain will be. Roughly equal on both sides, $250 on the downside, $250 on the upside. Now for me, I very rarely let my contracts go to expiration. Most of the time I'm trading with both a stop loss and a stop gain, and that'll usually be set around 50% of the premium. Since we paid about 250, what that means is half of that premium at $1.25. If this trade is down more than 125 on the downside, then I would close it for a stop loss, and if it's up more than 125 on the upside, I'd close it for a stop gain. That's why this pink line becomes important because this is the daily profit curve. We can more or less ignore this turquoise line and we can just watch our trade develop along this pink line. It'll show day to day exactly where the profit is and we'll be able to see when to close it, hopefully for a gain. So what I sometimes do is I will just find those stop loss points, maybe at 125 on the downside. I'll just set these little hash marks, somewhere near there is fine, and then up 125 on the upside, throw another one there. Remember the daily price is right here, and I can see my trade develop, and I'll know where I'm gonna stop out. Again, hopefully it creeps up this way, and I end up actually hitting this line. But let's review the Greeks really quickly. So the first one is Delta. Today's price is right here, and you can see that's a positive Delta number, 19.09. Long call verticals are Delta positive. It's a bullish trade, and we do want the underline to go up. You can see that, of course, in the picture. The higher it goes, the more profitable we will be. The next Greek is Theta. Now for these, they are theta negative. You can see minus $1.34. Doesn't sound like much, but that is a daily decay. So the more time the trade spends without moving in the direction we want, that daily decay starts to add up and the trade can start to lose money. You can see that here. If the trade just hangs out in this range and doesn't move, then that daily theta decay will just be bleeding down capital. And if left open, eventually it would hit the maximum loss. Now that's what stop losses are for, but again, it is a theta negative trade. Something to keep in mind. And the last Greek is Vega. You can see here, we are Vega positive. Now this is a long volatility trade that we are paying a debit to open, so we are essentially long volatility. That's why these trades are best opened when volatility is a little bit low already, to give the trade a little bit of room in case volatility does increase. And right now I can just pull up the VIX index. While we are not at the lowest level, it certainly is low enough to be eyeing long volatility trades like long call verticals. But that's it, it's actually a very simple trade. Most of the time, if I do wanna get long something, say a stock or an index, I will typically do it with long call verticals rather than just long calls. I personally think the risk reward profile is a little more attractive here with this trade. Capped max gain and max loss, risk management is very easy, and I can just track these two stop loss points. I don't know what's going to happen going forward here. Maybe the Iran conflict starts to matter. Maybe the markets are just ready for a pullback. But certainly if a person believes in the common phrase that the trend is your friend, it's really not difficult to see where the trend of this market is. So let's review all these points. The long call vertical is delta positive, a bullish trade, only really appropriate when you're expecting the underlying to go up in value. It's a theta negative trade. 
So whatever move you are expecting in the underline, it is always best that it happens sooner rather than later so that time value doesn't eat away at too much of the contract. And the last Greek, long call verticals are vega positive which means the trade does perform better when it's opened in lower volatility environments, giving a little room for that volatility to rise and benefit the trade. If current market volatility was high, for example, then you just choose one of the other vertical spreads that is vega negative. But for long call verticals, we are looking for lower volatility environments. Importantly, these are both limited loss and limited gain trades, so risk management is pretty straightforward. Now, typically I will use stop losses, but even if you do let them go into expiration, this trade really is all about position sizing. In the case of my trade example on the SPY, this trade is only appropriate for a trader who thought there would be a continuation to the upside, but also wanted to limit that downside risk just in case they're wrong. So thank you for watching the video and stay tuned for many more just like this one, where I'm going to be expanding your option trading toolbox. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching the video. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and go check out my website right here. There's tons of articles and videos on there, as well as a free trial to join the VTS investing community. What have you got to lose? Come see how I personally navigate these unruly markets. See you next time.